You inspire me because I'm the similar type who I had a career completely outside of entertainment, didn't act or anything until later in life. Yeah. And I always, it's always so frustrating to look. It seems like the people that have success start early and just yeah. get reps in as early as possible. So you inspire me in that regard. Yeah. That you've no. been able to find success by starting later in life. I just think that you have to, and again, this is like, I don't know. I, I hate giving advice. I do because what? it's all subjective and it's all like, people are like, oh, that's not going to work for me. You're like, yeah, it probably won't. <laughs> like, but it's one of those things where like my advice is not flashy. I'm like, just work hard as hell. Yeah. Like if there are people who are working, if you look around, there are people who are working harder than you, then you're not probably gonna be able to make it right because it's just really like i feel like i outwork people yeah you know what i mean and not just outwork in the mental sense of like reps but outwork in like i spent so much time i spent ye- like john had me spend years years working on like being a leading man because i go to vulnerability i go to oh this is so fun it's good to see a big guy, black guy be like vulnerable yeah right so, but I knew that there was more work out there for me and I could book that. And I see a lot of times people come to class and they're like, this is the thing I do. I'm like, okay, so why are you in class then? Right. And I've seen people leave class because they get mad because John is like, well, you already can do that. Let's work on the other stuff. Yeah. That other stuff is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's to, like, yeah, It's uncomfortable. It's vulnerable. And being on your voice and stuff like that, because I'm normally a mumbler and I normally talk like that. And if you can hear me, you can. I'm 6'4". You, you can figure it out, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> but to learn to not be good for a little while for the overall gain. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to learn like, oh, my gosh, this whole story thing. I like this, John. I like this whole like don't worry about like – how I'm going to be perceived, worry about the overall story. And then that takes a lot of the anxiety and stuff out of it. And then I remember a time when it's funny when people used to complain in class, like I never go out. I never do this. I'm, I should be on a series. And I'm like, we get assigned three scenes a week. You put up one. And sometimes like, forgive me. I'm not completely off book today. It's just been a week, blah, blah, blah. Like, when I when I was at the height, like at Leslie's, like however many scenes she, she gave me is however many I came to class prepared. Off yeah, book. doesn't mean I was good. Right. It was, but I did my best, and slowly, I be a, I became better. Yeah. But you can't be doing a half ass job and expect to get all the frills just because you see someone else pop. You know, I've seen people pop around. It's like popcorn. You're just like, I'm like that colonel. You're like, wait a minute. Everybody like, what's going on? <laughs> Why am I still in? Okay, don't don't shut the stove off yet. <laughs> Please don't shut the stove off. I'm a pop. You know what I mean? Like, you, you see people pop and then sometimes you're like, I'm better than them. Yeah. You're like, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Like, sometimes it's just going to be that person aligns with something and it pops. Or they get their chance and you don't. Like, but... But you're going to be prepared when your chance if, comes around. Exactly. Yeah. If you do the work, when you get your opportunity you're going to blow yeah. if you're ready, right? But most people spend their time thinking about why they're not getting the opportunity and or, not getting ready. Or what they're going to be do up to when they got it. Right. <laughs> I'm, oh, my gosh. Oh, I cannot I'm gonna wait to get living it. living on top of the world when I get it. I can't wait to get my Tesla. I was like, fascinated, too, so. when I started John's class, Roosevelt's class last year, how many people didn't want to rehearse or it would be hard to get people to rehearse. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why would you not want to rehearse? We're spending, A, we're spending money on this. <laughs> right. Rehearse, take advantage of it as best you can, but also this is what you want to do. This is what you have to do when you get what you want to do. Do you understand why I think it is? The reason I think it is is because... Well, I think it's an entitlement pe- well, also, and a fear. Also, people pay John, right, for John's opinion and his acceptance and his approval, right? Most of the time through this career, John is not going to no, be with he's you. Not. He's not going to be on set with you. He's no. not going to be at your auditions with you. No. So the time you're spending in rehearsal is the time that most of your acting life will be. Yeah. The problem is for them, John's not there. So who are you to tell me what what I'm doing wrong? I don't want to be told what I'm doing wrong. That's I don't nice. want any and also people don't want to see their process. I'm a person I hate showing my process too, but it's part of it. Like yeah. when I come in not really prepared, like uh, I feel crappy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to show my process, but you know what I do? I get faster at making my process 
faster yeah. so that you don't get to see like the you know what I mean? My process gets shorter. Also, because guess what? When you get your opportunity, it's going to come in the form of 14 pages for tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. What are you going to do? Exactly. You have to be off book. Yeah. Now you're complaining. Oh, my gosh. Went four t- How do they expect me to have 14 pages off book by tomorrow? Because that's what you should have been preparing for. Yeah, yeah. Because most series are going to be like that. Yeah. You could get lucky and get like the eighth lead, which is like, get lucky you know what I mean? The eighth lead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like, oh, where it's like, oh, it's like four lines. And you're like, oh, yeah, this is yeah. exactly where I want to be. You know what I mean? But usually if they're looking it's hard to fill this like fourth lead spot or something right. that requires some nuance that they can't find where you're like oh now they're looking for like just the best actor right the eighth lead is just going to come in and do a sass you yeah. know what I mean that's just the comic right he was yeah. like I can throw a sass right yeah it's interesting you give great advice what are you talking about I don't I mean <laughs> because people don't, I don't, I don't I've never found most people want to hear work harder oh yeah I mean, They're that's like, not no. ideal. Like, I Especially have a guy. Our gener- or, are you my age? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Right. What are we like? What are we? We like. We're, uh, we're born after 9 11, yeah, right? Nine, yeah. Yep. 9 9 8 1 8 7. Yep. All we're up. We're born uh, 10 10 11. 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 